So in this video, I'm going to go over a differentiation example, but along the way, I'm going to do my best to try and explain differentiation to someone who has never done it before. If you do have any comments or questions or any thoughts, just leave them down below and I'll do my best to try and get back to you. So in terms of this differentiation example, I'm going to put a lot of working out on the page. You don't have to do this every time. I just want to do it to make it clear what we're actually doing. So when we want to differentiate y is equal to 3x squared plus 7x minus 5 the rules we need to follow are this so we do each component at a time for example 3x squared and when we do this we want to take the power of the x in this case that's the 2 there and we want to multiply that with the front number then the next thing we want to do we want to remove a power from the x same thing with 7x and the same thing with minus 5 so our next line is going to look like this and I'm going to go through each individual part so when you differentiate y you call it dy over dx because you're differentiating y with respect to x and that's going to be equal to our first component where we've taken that power of x and multiplied the 3 so we've got 3 times 2 at the front and that's the first part you do and then you subtract 1 from the power as you get better at this you're not going to have to do all this working out you'll be able to work it out as you go along but this is just a really like detailed breakdown so we're going to have 3 times 2 times x all to the power of 2 to the minus 1 for the next part we're going to have 7 times 1 because that is to the power of 1 that x and then the x is going to be 1 minus 1 because it's to the power of 1 minus 1 and the next we're going to have 5 times 0 because it's effectively x to the power of 0 which is 1 and then it's going to be x to the power of 0 minus 1. Now I realize that might seem a bit complicated but you're basically taking that power of the x and then times in the number in front. If you just have like a 7x or 3x you can just remove the x that's going to be the final outcome and when you have a constant like a 7 an 8 a 50 that's just going to become nothing so you can cross that out as well but this is the working for why it does that. So our next line we're going to have 6x to the power of 1 because that's just simplifying our working out. We have 7x to the power of 0. Now anything to the power of 0 is just 1 so we know that's just going to end up being 7 and we're going to be minus 0 times x to the minus 1 but anything multiplied by 0 is 0 so we know that's going to be gone. So our final answer is 6x plus 7. Now I appreciate that that was a lot of information and a lot of detail but hopefully that will truly give you understanding of what differentiation is. And yeah, I hope that helped. Best of luck with the maths. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And thanks for getting to the end of the video.